This is part 96 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss logon triggers in SQL Server. So when does a logon trigger fire? As the name implies, logon triggers fire in response to a logon event. Logon triggers fire after the authentication phase of logging in finishes, but before the user session is actually established. Logon triggers can be used for tracking login activity, restricting logins to SQL Server, and limiting the number of sessions for a specific login. Let's understand these logon triggers with an example. What we want to do now is write a trigger that's going to limit the maximum number of open connections for a user to three. If an attempt is made to make a fourth connection, then we should get an error message as you can see here. And look at what the error message says. It says logon failed for login. It specifies the login name due to trigger execution. So it's the logon trigger that's blocking this attempt to make a fourth connection. Let's see how to write such a trigger. So let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. We'll be making use of this view to achieve this. Basically, this view contains information about all active user connections. So if you look at this view, it has got a lot of columns and we are interested in two columns. The first one is is underscore user process. So basically, this column is going to tell us whether the connection is made using a user process. And the other column is original login name. So this column is going to contain the login name that made the connection. And then I'm going to order this data by login time in descending order. So we will get the recent successful logins information. Okay. So if you look at the data here, notice that we've got you know, two sessions for the same user. So this is my user ID using which I have connected to the SQL Server. Now, our first question is, why do we have two sessions there? Because I only have one query editor window open. And if you look at this query editor window, the process ID is 52. So we've got the process ID here, 52. So this query editor window is using that ID. And if you look at you know, this first row, it has got a different ID, 51. So this object explorer here on the left is using that ID. So at the moment, I've got two connections. Now I can make another connection, but if I try to make a fourth connection, then we want a trigger which is going to block that fourth connection. So let's write that trigger. So let's open another query editor window. So I am going to create a trigger. Let's give this trigger a name, tr audit login and on all server for and we need to specify the event so this is a logon trigger so the event is going to be logon as begin end and here we specify the body for our trigger so we are going to make use of this view in our trigger so I'm going to make a copy of this and paste it within the body and we are going to declare a variable. Let's name it at login name. So this variable is going to contain the login name and the data type is going to be envercare set at login name equals. So to get the login name that is attempt to make a connection, I am going to use login underscore name I mean original underscore login function. So this function is going to return us the login that is um, you know making a connection. And this variable is going to contain the login ID. So we are going to select count of star from the name of the view is sys.dm underscore exec underscore sessions where is underscore user let's actually copy you know the column name from here these two column names where is underscore user underscore process equals one and original login name equals whatever we have in this variable. Okay, so 
this is going to give us the count of connections. So for example, if I execute this now, at the moment notice that I have three connections open. You know, one is this one, the other one is this one, and the third one is this object explorer vendor. So if I actually execute this query now, for this login we should have three open connections. So 51, 52, 53. So this is 52, this query editor vendor, and this one is 53 this query editor window and the object explorer is 51 so at the moment we have got you know three open connections right so if that count so let's use an if condition here so if that count is greater than 3 then what do we want to do we want to block you know any more attempts to make a new connection so i'm going to roll back Okay, so this is going to prevent that fourth connection and then it will display an error message using a dialog box like this and we want to print a message to the error log. So print fourth connection attempt by whatever is the login name. So how do we get the login name? This variable has got the login name. Login name blocked. So if I am trying to you know make a fourth connection then within the error log we'll have the information saying fourth connection attempt by you know my login name blocked. You know so using that error message we can see who are making to uh, who are trying to make more than three connections. Okay so we have a simple trigger here let's go ahead and create this execute this command completed successfully so this is a server scoped trigger so you will find that in server objects and within the triggers folder so we have our trigger right there so at the moment we already have three connections now let's actually copy this close this window and come right here we'll paste our trigger code here now at the moment I have only two connections so when I execute this one we should see that there are only two active connections. So if I try to open another query editor window now, which is going to make a third connection, that should be allowed without any problem. Notice that I don't get any problem now. Let's try to open another one. So I'm opening another fourth one. And look at this. We get the error message. And look at what the error message says. It says, logon failed for login, you know, my login name here due to trigger execution. And if you look at the trigger that we have here, First of all, notice this window, it says not connected. So we are not able to make that fourth connection. So now, if you look at this trigger, what is this trigger doing? It's rolling back, so it's preventing the attempt to make a fourth connection. And here we are printing a message. So where is this print message, this error message going in? It will actually be written to the error log. And if you want to read the information from the error log, you can use this system stored procedure, sp underscore read error log. So let's go ahead and execute that system stored procedure. So execute sp underscore read underscore error log and when we do that and when we scroll all the way to the bottom we should see that error message right there look at this fourth connection attempt by my login name blocked and that's what is the error message that we are writing to the error log fourth connection attempt by this variable will contain our login name and this word blocked and that's what we see here okay Thank you for listening and have a great day.